Alright guys, we're just going to go for a run in the Fiat above. Let's see. this one out and see how this one goes. impressions of when I get into this it's um very uh, yeah it, it feels very sort of like race like we're uh, yeah like you're in a race car so uh, we're gonna uh, see how we go with this and see how it goes and how it accelerates and things but for, like 1.4 litre turbo motor with Brembo brakes Wow, I'm excited already. <laughs> so uh, yeah, but it just, it feels very nice, feels nice. The steering feels, you've got that racing looking wheel and it just has that feeling like you're, you mean business, you've got this, yeah. And it's very much, um, Yeah, so vision out the front, for me, because I'm tall, the, the the rear vision mirror gets in the way a little bit of the vision, the whole vision. Vision out the side. just yeah that didn't even want to change gear it just wanted to keep going <laughs> so first impressions is this car a little hot hatch a very very hot hatch this one brakes are very very good pull you up very very well let's try manual mode I can see how it does that when it, uh, you know, changes the gears, yeah, it's, it's very, um, so yeah, so look, first impressions, it's a, it's a little race car for the road, uh, you can drive around normally just like cruising like we are now in third or fourth gear, and, um, it's, uh, it drives along nice. The suspension you can feel is quite harsh because it's supposed to be because it's a, uh, a hot hatch. Um, but when you get on the power, does it just it just wants to go? This thing it, it absolutely. was just yeah just the the power it wants to keep going it doesn't want to uh, let off but uh, look you can drive around this nice and nicely like this we are um, but it is a little bit more fun having a bit more of a go with it that's all and, and going And um, yeah, it's very nice to drive because you can drive around like an automatic. So pretty much my my thoughts on this car, the steering is really precise. It just it just wants to turn wherever you want to turn it. Brakes are very good, and it's got that little tone to it for the exhaust from the turbocharger. And this thing only weighs a thousand kilos or maybe not even that so it's uh it's got a lot of power for a small car and it just wants to keep going it just it, yeah it just 
wants to keep going everywhere. It, it doesn't want to. It doesn't want to leave the, the gear. So it. Um, and um, first thoughts are when I got in this was, is this a race car <laughs> for the road? So. Um, just driving it around here, it's not, um, it's it's reasonably stiff on the road. Obviously, it needs to be because it's very much a quick, a quick car. This one, um, and um, it, uh, yeah, it just it wants to go. It wants when you get on the power, it wants to go. But I will say this: it's very, you know. To the vision out the sides, the mirrors are really good. The vision out the front's great, even though at my height, six foot one, the mirror does get in the way a little bit. So other than that, it's actually quite sedate around town, just if you're driving it just normally, it seems to be quite sedate. It changes gears pretty, pretty good. But if you want it to go into manual mode, and give it a little bit, I suppose, more. Like so, it will. It's very much, yeah, it, it'll drive around town in automatic mode, not a problem. But if you wanna give it some, it will. And I was going to try the sports mode out. So let's try sports mode in, uh, see if that changes anything. That's very fast, that is. It seems to uh, have its own, um, have a mind of its own. It wants to keep going. It, uh, yeah, which is, which is pretty incredible. It's very, very nice. It seems to do 